Well, hello there. Today is a big day in the life of the Spud Fit Challenge because uh, my episode of The Doctors TV in the US went on air today. Uh, so that's cool. I'm, uh, I'm excited by that. I was, uh, for everyone that doesn't know, a couple of weeks ago now, I recorded an episode via Skype to the US uh, with The Doctors. And when they first asked me to go on, I, uh, I asked if they could get Dr. McDougall, who's an amazing nutrition science guru from the US, asked if they could get him to go on the show with me. Uh, not because I wasn't confident. I'm confident answering all the questions that I needed to do, but I just thought it would give the show and myself also a little bit more credibility if, uh, if Dr. McDougall was on there with me. So... Uh, much to my surprise and happiness, they agreed to do that, and Mr. Mc, Dr. McDougall, sorry, agreed to do that as well. So, uh, yeah, it all happened. We filmed, and uh, and today it went to air. So I'm about to show you a clip of it. Uh, as usual, my computer skills are no good, so I've uh, I haven't been able to play it on the TV. But this is a clip that I got from the internet, from the Doctor's TV website. Uh, and I played it on my computer and filmed it using my iPad. So uh, the quality is not that great, but hopefully you can hear it and see it and, uh, and understand at least what's going on. Uh, I'm going to play it now, and I'll talk to you after. Atkins diet, paleo diet, Weight Watchers, Jenny Craig diet, Mediterranean diet, the list goes on and on, but I bet you haven't heard of the potato-only diet. It's recent, recently been making headlines, and one man in Melbourne, Australia has decided to stick to this diet for an entire year, but is it safe? We actually have Andrew joining us via Skype all the way from Australia. We also have Dr. John McDougall join us on the phone, who is a physician and a believer in this diet. He's also the author of The Starch Solution. So first things first, Andrew, how long have you been on this potato-only diet, and how's it been going for you? Today is the day, the start of day 43, and everything's going fantastically well, much better than expected so far. How's your energy level? I feel fantastic. I've got abundant energy, so much that I had to start uh, exercising again uh, about a week ago, which is pretty good. And how many pounds have you lost? Uh, I'm not sure in pounds. It's 16 kilos. We work in oh, kilos over wow. here, so that's probably... I don't know, 30 plus pounds. So, Andrew, tell us a little more about the diet. I just make mashed potatoes or boiled potatoes or baked potatoes. I make everything without oil and uh, or anything fatty added at all. And, uh, and I have some a small amount, minimal amount of herbs and spices and sauces like tomato and barbecue and chili sauce and things like that. But it's pretty boring, really, and I'm doing that on purpose. And I do want to bring into the conversation Dr. McDougall because... Dr. McDougall, when I think of potatoes, I do think of them as life-sustaining in, in some of these famines we've talked about, but you actually believe that this is, this is a great thing to just eat potatoes, or is your perspective more so that if you go this route, you'll be just fine? If you go this route, you'll be just fine, but my main focus and what I really like to get across to people is that human beings are starch eaters. Uh, but think about various diets around the world. Uh, in the Far East, people that live on rice are used to 90% of their diet was rice. In uh, Central America, the Aztecs and the Mayans were known as the people of the corn. In uh, South uh, America, the Incas uh, and the other people there, they uh, eat basically potatoes. We can't deny the fact that potatoes don't have all the nutrients that you but need to, to live a healthy existence, correct? They, that's incorrect. They have... You can live on all potato diets alone. There was an experiment done uh, and published in the Biochemical Journal in 1928 where they took a man and a woman. They were both athletes, and uh, they put them on all potato diet for six months. And uh, they said that they had no desire for change. They enjoyed the diet, and when they analyzed them physically, they found them to be an excellent health on an all-potato diet. Well, Dr. McDougall, we do have to, to move on. I want to thank you for lending your opinion on this matter. And there's a lot of truth to what Dr. McDougall is saying. There is a diet out there that is extreme in every measure. There's there's the meat-only diet, the potato-only diet, the vegetable-only diet. diet. There's and everyone who does diet. that diet, including Andrew, sounds like you're on this, this train right now, they claim...
claim that that is the best diet. Well, I'm going to say I will forever believe this. I think the best diet is the one that, number one, works for you, but variety is the spice of life. So what is, I, to me, it has more to do with why just eat potatoes if you can enjoy all the other wonderful foods in the world? And so to me, Andrew, I say if this is what you want to do and you're being monitored and you're healthy, I go for it. You know, you be you. And I applaud you for taking your health into your own hands. I really do. Uh, but for people watching, I've said this before, we've had people on the show, banana only diet. I mean, I like it's just and to me, that's where things get confusing because it's like, well, banana, uh, what do I do? No, just here's the deal. If you eat a well-balanced diet of natural foods right. that grow from the earth, you're going to do just fine. Andrew, we do yeah. wish you the yeah. best of luck. Thank you so much for sharing with us. Yeah. And, you know what? This debate will never end. No, no. And there's always going to be one group that says it's all about this food group, this is the way to do it. No, this is the way to do it. And it well, it's but really it, person specific, too. I mean, if I ate potatoes all day, I would look like a potato. At the end of the day, everyone has to figure out what works for them. Yep. If you are struggling with your current diet, you know, it's okay as long as you're doing it in a healthy way and in conjunction with your doctor. It's okay to try something new and get outside yeah. of your comfort zone. Figure out what may work for you. If this works for Andrew, kudos to him. We'll be right back. So there you have it. What did you think? Uh, I thought it was really good. I was uh, I was really happy that uh, the doctors were open-minded and able to hear me out and hear uh, Dr. McDougall out. I was really, like I said before, really happy that they agreed to have Dr. McDougall on to add a little bit of credibility to the discussion. Uh, they were open-minded and, uh, and they, were, they were happy to hear about the health of the potato. Maybe they uh, think a little bit differently about potatoes than they did before. Uh, I don't know, but that's not the aim anyway. It's just... Uh, I wanted to go on there to be able to just share my experience and and uh, be able to talk to people and you never know maybe I would be able to help someone by doing it. Uh, yeah, I was it was a happy happy and positive experience overall for me. Uh, in the end, there there are there are all about ratings and uh, and they they talk and present in a way that's designed to entertain and get people to watch again and uh yeah so we can't uh yeah we, we can't be disappointed in how it went i think everything was great um they i liked what they said about uh about eating things that grow in the dirt and uh and you know trying to keep the diet natural a bit and um i liked that they could accept that uh unlike lots of people so-called experts around i like that uh, the doctors were able to accept that this uh, could be a healthy diet for people to do. They, they didn't want to argue that point, and, uh, and I think it was great. I think it was all around a great experience. I was really happy with the whole thing. Uh, the producer who I uh, spoke to before the show was fantastic. It was just a, it was actually a really good experience from start to finish, from the first time they contacted me until now when it's aired. It's been... Uh, really good they were really good communicators and uh yeah overall a great experience uh i'm happy with it one thing i would like to add though is that uh that i unfortunately didn't get time to you know time constrictions on on tv shows like that they are uh, you know they just they just can't fit everything in there's no way around that but one thing i would like to add was that uh the, the focus was mostly on weight loss and uh, and if you've been following me at all then you know that I'm happy that I'm losing weight, that's great, but the number one focus is uh, on dealing with a food addiction uh, and trying to uh, get on top of my issues around food. So uh, if I was in control of the discussion then I would have wanted to focus on the food addiction side of things more but I wasn't and anyway I think it was a good discussion. It was a balanced discussion. And uh, I think it went as well as I could have hoped for or anyone could have hoped for. It was really good. And uh, so thanks to the doctors for having me on. And uh, hopefully we can do it again at the end of the year, assuming I get to the end of the year. Uh, yeah, so that's that. Spud fit on the doctors. Woohoo! Uh, subscribe if you want. Uh, post your comments and questions underneath if you want. 
Uh, like my Facebook page and check out my new website, spudfit.com, spudfit.com. Tomorrow's weigh-in day. If you want to know how much I weigh tomorrow, then watch me again tomorrow. Spud fit. Spud up, I mean. Not spud fit. Yeah, spud fit, but spud up. Woo!